So, if you're into um, energy healings or you're not sure um, how to manipulate energy or you're interested in anything like that, I would highly recommend this book called Frabato the Magnish Mag Magician from Franz Bardon. And I don't actually have the book. I have uh, got this from a friend of mine through a PDF in, and I have just printed it out. And this is one of the greatest books about ma like magic and esoteric wisdom and knowledge. And this is a golden piece of information. If you can find this book or you can like email me or anything, I will send you this book. It is amazing and especially if you're into energy and um, so anyway if you're into hermetics or anything like that or um, you're doing any energy work you would definitely need to read this book this is very very important book to read I think and I think you can actually find it in internet in PDF for free just by googling it it's in google books or google library or i don't even know what it's called but something like that so you can find it in there i highly recommend this book and another great book um, that is about hermetics is another book from franz bardon and it's called um initiation into hermetics i only have this book on my computer and i have not printed it out but it is all, uh, kind of like the second uh, volume to the first book of uh, uh, Magician. And I found this book also very intriguing. And if you're into Hermetics, please read this book. It is highly important for all light workers and especially people who are working with energies. Another great book um, from and of Hermetics is called Kybalion or something like that. I'm not sure if I can pronounce it correct, but you can read it below the video and um, you can search for it. It's also on my computer and it's a it's a, a study of hermetic philosophy of ancient Egypt and Greece. And this book is also very, very interesting and it goes deeper into hermetics and the mythology behind um, Egypt and Greece and their uh, my mytholo mythological characters and and gods and things like that and it's it's very interesting. I highly recommend that book too. So, what kind of book should you read if you're into healing methods, Reiki, or anything like that? Well, I will have to say that I am yet to find actually a good book of Reiki. Um, many of the books that are of Reiki are really boring and they just, I don't actually know if there is very many good books about Reiki. So if you actually know any good books on Reiki, I would like to know. Because most of the books that I have read from of Reiki are basically, they are just showing like how you can do the healing and stuff like that. And I don't really find that very interesting. I'm more interested in the spiritual aspect of Reiki and healing. But one good book that I have found on Karuna Reiki is the book on Karuna Reiki, Advanced Healing Energy for Our Involving World by L'Oreal Shanti Gaia. And um, this is a really good book, especially if you're thinking of doing Karuna Reiki after having your attunements to Reiki Practitioner 2 and Reiki Master or above that to Reiki Teacher. And you can only have Karuna Reiki attunement if you have already got Reiki, Usui Reiki attunements. So anyway, this is a really profound, like, um, practical book uh, explaining all the things like historical origins of Karuna Reiki and um, explaining techniques and different things like anxiety and allergies and how to use Karuna Reiki with these and how to work with Karuna Reiki and angelic realms and things like that. And you can all also have your own notes in here. And then there's some really good, like basic information about chakras and 
vowels and sounds that are connected to different chakras and things like that so I, I highly recommend this book if you are into Karuna Reiki or you have thought of doing that. One of the first books that I learned about angels is actually Lorna Byrne. This book is in Finnish and it's in Finnish it's Enkeleita Hiuksissani but in English it's something I think it's like angels in my hair or something like that. And uh, this is the first book. She has wrote, uh, written two books and this is the first one and then the second one is something like um, Staircase to Heaven or something something like that. I don't, I have read it in Finnish so I don't uh, know the name but it's Lona Byrne. And um, she's one of the only people on the whole planet who can actually see angels like as uh, you are seeing me now she can see angels like that and she has talked and communicated with angels her whole life and just recently she got a permission to write a book about it and she had had a very challenging life too and this is also like her her story and how angels have helped her on her way and this is the kind of book that anyone can read this is just for anyone who is who wants hope in their life, who is feeling hopeless or desperate, who would just or anyone who would just want confirmation about angels and their existence. This is a great book. I highly recommend it. It is really easy read. It's very enjoyable. It's it's a true st true story. It's very practical and real and um it is one of those books that really makes you believe that everything that happens in our lives is divinely guided and angels are everywhere and whatever happens in our lives and Lorna has gone through some tough, tough things and she is very honest about it and it really gives you hope. So this is a really nice book um, but I wouldn't necessarily maybe like recommend this for someone who is very far off into spirituality they would find this book probably too practical and too earthbound but i think it's a good start for many people to into spirituality and just connecting with their guardian angels so i recommend this book so if you're into crystals and crystal healing and you're naturally really gravitating towards crystals, I have two books that I use often, like every, almost every day or e at least every week on crystals. The first book that I actually got on crystals is called The Crystal Bible, A Definitive Guide to Crystals by Judy Hall. This is a really good book and I think there is actually a second or maybe even third um, edition already available and this is already quite an old one but this is the kind of book that is um, it gives really good spiritual information about each crystal very specific information about the colors and everything like that and it doesn't have the most uncommon crystals it has the most basic ones and some uncommon mon ones but it has over 200 crystals and if you're into crystals you will probably find most of your crystals here and what is best about this book is that for example um let's take like okay like chalcedony for example and it shows the crystals picture here and all the information about crystals and then uh, healing attributes, positions, specific colors, and it tells about the specific colors or things like that connected to that specific crystal. And that is why I use this book so much because it actually, my friend is texting me, because it is actually very, it gives very specific information about crystals. Another really good book is the, the New Crystal Bible, Over 500 Crystals to Heal Your Body, Mind and Spirit by Cassandra Eason. This is also a really good book on crystals and I use this especially for quick, um, if I'm trying to find a specific crystal for a specific reason uh, or um, thing. For example, if I have a problem with, um, I don't know, I would have, I would want to quit smoking. I, I don't smoke but if I would want to I just go here on this list and I go okay 
there's some crystals that it says like would be good and then I just go to the crystal and I see where it is and it is all arranged within colors so if you know that you're you're trying to find what crystal some crystal is and you know the color you may be able to find it just by the color uh, this has a lot of crystals in it and it does give some information about it but it gives more like um, practical information about the properties of the crystal like how rare it is and things like that and actually like what colors it has and things like that but it doesn't give so much like you can see like for example lemon quartz compared to the information in crystal bible which can have like two or three pages of one crystal this only has like something like this and it usually has here like a bit of it and it usually get, gives like historical information about that crystal or something like that and it does give some like emotional healing and physical benefits but it doesn't go into very deep into it but this is a good like um, bibliography kind of book for crystals and I use both of these so what I would say about these books about crystals is that they complement each other very very well and this is the kind of books that it, book that you can really use when you are already quite used to crystals but I would not recommend this for a first book because with this book you really cannot tap into the healing properties of each crystal and a deep understanding about each crystal's healing properties and that is why I would highly recommend Judy Hall's book as your first first crystal book and to use it really to understand why you're drawn towards specific crystals and what these crystals might help you with. So these are really good books for crystals in general and there are a lot of crystal bibles. I think these are really really good ones and I would highly recommend these. So thank you very much for much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was so long, but I just had so many books. And um, you may come back to this video later on if you feel like you're more into some specific branch of uh, spirituality at that point, and continue now with your chosen one and kind of like go forward with specific themes at a time or however you like. And uh, if you have any questions of any of these books, please post a comment. I'm really happy that you watched these videos and hopefully, hopefully I introduced you to some books that really caught your attention and let me help you with anything if you feel like it. So namaste, have a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you have a lovely week and shine your light. I love you all.